Hey two guys, hole three here. Now this isn't the longest hole in the world. And with that in mind, kind of torn here, high plated cruiser. Definitely don't think we'll need to beat this down here too, too far. With this wind though, it does make it kind of a little bit harder to adjust. I'm gonna do something along the lines of this. Try to land on the left side of the fairway with some curl to get around this tree. And applying all that side spin should help keep the ball in the fairway. You can see I barely landed in the fairway with that pull. So be a little bit careful that you get an ultimate shot or close to it. I tried to rush that a little too much. Let's see what we got here. Typically what I'll try to do is I'll try to counter the wind to try to play to get the ball to roll out straight. So here I'm using five on my side spin. Let's just see what five looks like. You can see I'm keeping the ball guide kind of up towards the hole a little bit. So three, eight, that's gonna be probably a little bit more than that, three, nine, seven towards max. And we're definitely gonna go the full three, nine, seven. I can tell you that much. And let's see what this side spin looks like. Five bars, and hopefully that doesn't register great. Looks like we're good. You can see five bars almost held the break. So maybe with that wind direction, six bars would have been perfect. But those are the type of things that you want to focus on and try to uh, hone in on. As you see, you'll you know, lead to more drop shots the more that you study and get to replay these. So good luck there. I'll see you guys on the next one.